Well, look who's here. I was hoping for a red wattle bird, but you've come. The white eared honey eater has come back. Pretty little thing. Where are you? Gone. There's a spiny cheeked honey eater. Is it going to sing for us again? Probably not. Sing for us. Sing your pretty song. Where's it gone? Up high in the cypress tree anyway. Way up high in the cypress tree. There's the spiny cheeked honey eater coming down for a drink of sugar syrup. There it is. It's a middle sized bird. The white cheeked honey eaters are the smallest. This is the middle sized bird, honey eater, I mean. And the next size up is the red wattle bird, which is the largest one that I've seen so far. There's the spiny cheeked honey eater sipping sugar water. Beautiful bird. That noise is the uh, red wattle bird, that noisy bird in the background. It'll drive this bird out of the way in a minute. It's all pecking order, isn't it? This bird drives the spiny cheeked one away, and the red wattle bird drives this bird away. Aren't you beautiful? Have a drink, there's two of you. Have a drink, guzzle. Guzzle quickly before the noisy, what, not noisy firebirds know that red wattle birds come. Quickly. Guzzle. Guzzle. I'm going to put one of these bottles maybe outside my bedroom window. It would be nice to watch them in bed, wouldn't it? It would be lovely. Of course, I'm growing wildflowers for them as well. There they go. Back up into the cypress tree. Nope. Back to the bottle. Yes, I'm growing lovely native plants for them as well. There we are, it's working. A simple sports bottle, suspended with a bit of sugar syrup in it. Of course, we wash it with hot water every day. And the lid loosens just enough to drip when the honey-eating birds come. Here they come. Here they come, the spiny cheeked honey eaters again. A pair of them, the two lovebirds. Aren't they lovely? That's an Australian raven you can hear in the background. That's the pair of them, aren't they pretty? Blue 
blue eyes, I think. I've got brown eyes, but I've got the gene for blue eyes as well. Isn't it beautiful? Look who's back. I could do this. I could film these birds every day of the week. I could. They're so beautiful. I could film them, film them every day of the week. Now there's, there's two birds like that. One's got a big white patch and one's got a narrow white patch. Would one be the male and one be the female? I don't know. Or are they two different types of birds altogether? Hello, sweetie pie. Aren't you beautiful? I'd marry you if you asked me. I would. I would. Is that who I think it is? Is it the golden whistler? Who are you? Or are you just a silver eye? I see you're some type of honey eater. You're not the usual white-eared honey eater that I see. Are you? Were you? Perhaps you're the male or something. Yes, if that bird asked me to marry, I would. I'd say yes. I would. Look at your beautiful golden chest. So handsome. Aren't you beautiful? Wonderful little bird. I could film you every day of the year. I really could. I could upload you onto YouTube every day of the year quite easily. Aren't you wonderful? Let's see how close we can get before it goes all blurry. Listen, that's the mistletoe bird. It's a beautiful little Australian bird that eats mistletoe and has a red breast like a robin. That's the next bird that I hope to film. Thank you for holding still for me. Aren't you wonderful? Aren't you wonderful? Just look at you. A perfect little bird. Sitting in a cypress tree. It's got white ermine ears, earmuffs. It's got a black velvet throat. It's got a golden chest. That's a red wattle bird making that noise in the background. I'm not a bird expert though, am I? It's getting cold.